Tonight, Plano school officials and police are actively investigating really disturbing allegations of bullying at a middle school. The child's mother believes her 13 year old son was targeted. Here's our Nicole Nielsen. This has got to stop, and this is going to end with him. Today, Summer Smith, the mother of 13 year old Samarion Humphrey, is speaking out after claiming her son has been the target of physical and mental abuse by his classmates at Plano ISD's Haggard Middle School. This is not a prank. This is beyond bullying. You are evil. She said she tried to inform the school and district, but when no actions were taken, she took her own. <laughs> no. Posting this now viral video to her Facebook, accusing her son's classmates of forcing Humphrey to drink urine. It happened at a sleepover last month. She says was orchestrated by the kids to bully him. Where it was premeditated and it was obvious that Samarion was only invited for their pure entertainment. Wow. But she says the problem started before the sleepover, saying Humphrey has been harassed and degraded for nearly a year with no help from staff. Samarion actually made complaints to his coaches and was told boys will be boys. The Plano Police Department is conducting an investigation. Plano ISD released a statement in part stating our district does not tolerate or condone bullying or harassing behavior and is taking prompt and remedial action to address the concern. No justice! No peace! Today, protests broke out in front of the school with parents and students fighting for change. Something that Smith says they won't stop fighting for. This is going to change. And I mean that. In Plano, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. Nicole, thank you. And an online petition calling for change within the district was started on Tuesday. It now has more than 50,000 signatures. Well, yeah, the mom is very emotional. She says this goes beyond bullying. Uh, this is the disturbing allegations are being investigated right now by Plano Police Department. That's where we are right now. We want to show you some images from earlier today. The 13 year old did come to the press conference. We are told that was his decision. The mother also tells us she wants people to know what happened and who they hurt. The family says the young teenager has been subjected to two years of physical abuse and racial threats by a group of students at Haggard Middle School. And then a video surfaced from two weeks ago that shows the 13 year old being forced to drink a yellow liquid. The family tells us it was urine. The family and representatives met with Plano Police Chief Ed Drain this afternoon, a meeting they characterized as promising. The attorney says this should be investigated as a federal hate crime involving three to four minors. Now, the mother also says a number of complaints went unheard by the school and the district. Listen to this. This is not a prank. This is beyond bullying. You are evil. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are evil. Mm -hmm. This is assault. Mm -hmm. This is a hate crime. This is a felony. You're hearing uh, just a glimpse of some of that emotion right there. The Plano Police Department has assigned detectives to this case. The, the, uh, the Plano ISD is also working with the police department on this case. Now, there is a 630 rally scheduled here just outside the Plano, uh, Plano Police Department. You see people have, have showed up. They've showed up with signs here. It, uh, it should be, um, uh, it should be a, a large gathering here for, uh, for this young man. Reporting live here in Plano, I'm Joe